dear students in this video i am going to explain about the grid array system distribution this is a second type of water distribution system that is grid array system it is also called interconnected or interlink or reticulation system here there is a arrangement of uh, uh, pipelines as a mains sub mains and branches are all interconnected with each other this system is well suited for well planned town and cities in the on the screen you can see the pipeline system it, you can see in the type of uh, the grid the grid like uh, uh, the sketch you can see the vertical center pipeline is named as m this is m okay m means main pipeline it is shown at the center of this drawing m main pipeline and there are parallel pipelines are laid down those are called as l means lateral lateral pipelines are laid down which are parallel to the main pipelines you can see two lateral pipelines are at left side and two lateral pipelines are at right side and s is shown s is shown this is the s the s pipelines are sub main sub main that will be connected from the main pipeline either left or right side both side okay here you can see from the main left side also arrow mark you can see left side and right side is sub main okay through this sub main again the these lateral pipes will get water water will flow through this lateral pipes with this system all plots all area is getting the water through sub pipeline as well as the uh, lateral pipeline you can see the points here the points are shown here points these are the points you can get uh, the water from sub main and lateral that's why if any uh, repair in the, at the time of repairs and all you can take the water from the another connection that is if you find the repair in uh, the sub main pipeline you will get the water from the lateral pipeline this is how the water will be supplied in the grid type of uh, the system this is grid iron system so what are the advantages just we'll look after the advantages first one the water reaches different places through more than one group the discharge to be caused out by each pipe frictions and size of pipe get reduced second one in case of repair a small area will be affected in case of area in case of repair only small area uh, sometime uh, as i said that through the lateral pipe also you can get the water in emergency and the third one is because of uh, interconnection dead ends are completely eliminated here there is no dead end to eliminate the tail end point 
this type of uh, system is will be adapted water remains in continuous circulation and hence not liable uh, to for pollution due to the uh, stagnation there is no uh, water stagnation there will not be any water stagnation in the pipe hence we cannot expect the water pollution in this system fourth is during fire more water can be diverted towards the affected point if there is a uh, in fire accidents and all we can control the walls which are uh, which the water is flowing in uh, in the different direction all direction can be uh, water can be controlled and only where the fire is affected that area uh, to that area only we can uh, divert all the water to uh, control the fire so this is this is uh, also one more advantage and what are the disadvantages design is uh, difficult little difficulty for making design because different uh, size of uh, the pipelines uh, to be laid down for that design is very very important and it's a little complication construction is costly system requires more length of pipelines and large number of walls is also required because uh, controlling uh, walls are uh, required more in number from the sub main and main and lateral pipelines to operate this wall again the staff is required staff means waterman or wallman uh, usually we used to call it as wallman uh, this staff is requiring more number and these uh, staff are skilled one skilled uh, staff is required to supply the water systematically so this is uh, the grid iron system thank you guys